Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more Rogue Trader. We've got three of our party members right now. And I think now we need to go and uh, take down, uh, what's his name? Malice. The Slith. This should go well. Um, it seems like there's a lot of people here and <laughs> we're very weak. So wish me luck. I'm probably going to need it. The only thing I've got to rely on is the fact that they're pretty poorly um, set up as well. Okay, well, let's go talk to him. The Commissar says, hello, Malice. The two humanlings have plotted against me. How predictable. Shriekers, kill the humanling slowly. I want to enjoy his torment. Your arrogance will be your downfall. Okay, I'll not a great starting a position. Starch. That's for damn sure. Okay. Argenta starting is never a bad thing. Okay. I will bathe this battlefield in righteous fury. Damn. Uh, Should've known that was gonna happen. As the Emperor commands, I act. Oh yeah, only the first one costs one less. I should have done this to start off with. That's okay. That's okay. I already missed my bolter, but ooh, what was it that knocked him down? Is that a heavy stubber thing? Why did so many of them get knocked down? Huh. Cool. I mean, I'll take it. without deeds is worthless <laughs> is a prayer that's why we love you girl okay that gets us a little bit closer to our whatchamacallits heroic acts you shouldn't be able to attack me so I should be able to go here fairly safely Lynchpin you. And I'll still get an attack this after this as well. Done. As the Emperor commands, I act. <laughs> We had like chances. two hits on him, I think. Could have been way worse. In thy light I stand, and thy light I crave. Oh, that's good. Okay. Thank you, stubborn. On it. Okay. Yes, let's do that again. Real 
Okay, we're just gonna stack up Argenta then. I'll see to it. He's personally. barely out of range. Pain and duty go hand in hand. Victory is imminent. Yeah, if I do this, I'll be able to attack twice. Because I've got three AP, correct? Um, but hold on, let's, let's just check. Temporary wounds. All affected allies 50% less damage from the next attack. That might be good right now. So do I want to do that in one attack, maybe? I could also do this. They're both meleeing, so that one might actually be a really good one. up and I love it. Don't love that hit chance. It's dodge reduction. Out is for the weak. Each strike is a prayer. There we go. I mean, hey, if the few that do hit are buffed up enough, you can still get the kill. Um, let's see. Next turn we can do that to get rid of winded. Although, right now you have a thing that means that you don't get winded anyway, so. Go there. Let's see if uh, maybe. Well, if you crit, you can finish this Rejoice guy. Rejoice in battle! Hit chances aren't great. Forty-seven. Yeah, I don't got anything that's gonna make that more likely to hit, I don't think. I still have no idea how breakthrough works, because every time I've tried to use it, I feel like it's been less effective, so I'm nervous to use this. Let's try it. <laughs> I will do my duty. I should be able to use it more than once. Never mind. It, no, I can't. <laughs> Forget what I said. Okay, you're going to be tough. Strong point Abelard. Let's make sure you're hitting as many shots as possible.
Yeah, it's not very many stacks, but it might be better just to save those up, but we're just going to see what we can do here. Get that kill. And then with the rest of this, let's it's see what our gen can do. Um, let's see. By I'll using this, I should be able to do this and controlled shot, right? Yeah. And so now I still get my fire off and if any pass through, wait, 0% really? Why? That's not good. This is why I was okay, that 0% was a lie. But yeah, see all those dodges? That was great. Okay, so that 0% wasn't actually true, which is good for us. I was worried there for a second. I was like, uh oh. <laughs> nice. There's that dueling thing coming into play. Sworn enemy again. Indeed. We'll do that again. Two attacks. I thought the secondary attack was always supposed to cost one more AP. It didn't that time. Interesting. And endure. Pain cleanses the body. <laughs> you guys are a little late. <laughs> I've almost got this under wraps when it comes down to it. The enemies of the Emperor will be undone. As the Emperor commands, I act. Faith without deeds is worthless. That's the stuff. Commissar's resolve is palpable. Victory, comrades. Duty beckons. Our allies are waiting on the other side of this strange rift. So let us not waste time. He is holding a strange Xeno device. The Commissar points it at the rift, presses a few buttons, and the roiling entropic energies die down, forming a stable portal. What exactly awaits us on the other side? Loyal comrades and, and a stolen escort ship with its pilot taken hostage. It will take us back to real space, where Emperor Wheeling we will send out a distress call and be saved. By his grace, may this turn out to be true. Abelard's voice is dull and lifeless. Are you coming with us? I will bring up the rear and make sure no one falls behind. You will lead the charge. Act as a shining example of duty and valor. Okay, onward. The Emperor is watching. Let us not falter under his gaze. I'm... I'm nervous that we weren't able to enter those other two areas yet. your wits about you. Yeah, there's no way for us to get to this stuff, right? No, I don't think so. Alright, I think we picked up all the loot. Rise to the top, or get left in the dust. Okay, and that's heavy armor. So far, everything's been medium or heavy. Okay. All right, I'm not gonna lie, I'm really worried about going through that and progressing without having party members. I'm wondering if- Always keep your eye on the we prize. We weren't able to enter the arena, but I kinda wanna try again. I wonder if it was a bug? Oh no. All right, here's what we're gonna do. I have other saves. I have some hard saves, so we, we can- I don't know, man. Is this like a trap? Does this just progress? Because that's the only thing I can make sense of. Because if this is actually us actually escaping, then I don't think that we got our party. 
and I wasn't able to enter the arena before, and I hope that isn't a bug, because if so, then we're really, really screwed, and I wouldn't know what to do about that. We also weren't able to enter the other place. This banality of violence is dull, I crave subtlety. Die gracefully. Okay, this doesn't seem like we're escaping. <laughs> The moment you cross the portal, you realize that something is amiss. The thousands of Drakari all around you. The towering bulk of abnormally bloated muscle whose face is hidden behind a black mask. None of it fits the Commissar's description of a quiet dog. Yeah, I think the Commissar betrayed us. But to what end? You have brought good meat. You have done well, Commissar. So both the Commissar and the other guy were doing the exact same thing. Both of them were collecting people for the arena. Oh, that sucks. The creature's guttural voice emanates menace. Okay. Examine the monster. The Hulk's body is crisscrossed by thick, ugly scars as if someone stitched him from different pieces. Its huge muscles are disproportionately swollen and riddled with peculiar wire-like augmetics. Running under the skin, the backbone was freed from flesh and encased in the steely grip of the spinal transplant and the face hidden by a black helmet. Okay. The Commissar has turned out to be yet another traitor. I believe I am starting to see how this game is played. It's alright, you won't be so gullible next time. Oh wait, there won't be a next time. The Commissar makes no effort to conceal the sarcastic mockery in his voice. Farewell, comrades. Deceiving, manipulating, and nudging you towards your deaths has been an honor and a pleasure. The Commissar jumps into the closing portal before anyone gets a chance to stop him. Satisfied cackling booms from behind the monster's black mask. Foolish meat falls for the same trick every time. Here's what happens to you now. They are about to unleash fighters and beasts that will seek to eviscerate you. So try to survive until the end of the fight, meat. No one is expecting more from you. But should you kill something after all, do it painfully. Unless the master's craving for death agony is sated, they will release me into the arena and you will regret that, got it? Let's see. What is this place? The gladiatorial arena of the cult of the fatal thirst. This is where masters come for an, a new youth and where pathetic meat from the chasm is brought to die. Okay, and if I emerge victorious? The creature leans down to get a better look at you, then says acerbically, your life, but do not concern yourself. You will not. Okay. Should we go dogmatic for this to try and get people to uh, be rallied here? Honestly, it could lead to like a buff or something. We have enough to do the adherent version of this, so dogmatic address the fighters. This abomination says that our death is certain, but even in death there is no, there is a choice. To be butchered like cattle or to die for the Imperium. Do not let the Xenos decide your fate. May you leave this life with the Emperor's name on your lips. Okay. With a roar, some of the fighters make the sign of the Aquila and ready their grenades. Their pale fingers clutch the pins as they steal themselves for a fight to the inevitable death, intent on taking as many enemies of humanity with them as they can. The monster scoffs. Pretty words. I hope your death will be pretty enough to match them. Off with you, meat. Well, that's not good. Rejoice, Spire Dwellers, for I have come to slake your fatal thirst. May the vicious hunt commence today. My wild hounds will enter the arena to taste the blood of its wretched challengers. Bathe your souls in their suffering. Make your guesses at whether the prey can overpower the predators. These are the things that uh, take zero damage every other hit, right? Oh, here's that Kikoros we heard talk, talked about. If you're looking for more refined entertainment, watch the ousted Dracone of the Reaving Tempest. Fight for his life against the glorious champions of the arena, the Bloodstained Proselytes. Okay. 
If your soul is so hardened that only a triumph of violence can soften its scars, enjoy the massacre of the fearsome Flesh Gorger. Today, we will try to kill him again. Dude, look at this buff, bro. Is that all? Will you just give me your pet jesters? Don't be offended if I break your playthings, Kekaros. Let the fatal thirst be quenched. Damn Xeno scum, we will take you with us for the Emperor! Oh damn, they just blow themselves up? The world suddenly loses strength and certainty. Everything around you looks like a decoration and a sham. Horror constricts your chest. The sounds join in a terrible loop of self-repetition, mixing with a grinding sound becoming high and sharp. Something, 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 who knows. Okay, this is electrified. Are we stuck? I have a nose for okay. profit and a taste for adventure. Okay, so who are we up against? Just these right now? That big guy isn't in this fight, is he? No. That guy should join us. Brace yourself, Abelard. Damn, Abelard. That's some big damage right off the bat. Um, okay. Let's see about buffing him up just a bit here. Okay, I'm gonna linchpin you and give you a turn. You're gonna be more effective than me. Um, this time that wouldn't help us much, but you have a free action with this. Do we want that or that? Impact knocks the target prone. Honestly, the prone might actually be really good here, so. Okay, knocked one of them over. We'll take it. Um, I think that will last for into her turn. Five to seven. I still think this is better. Six to nine. An exemplary strike. Okay, yep, that is active. We're gonna As pop the that. Emperor commands, I act. This is why I am chosen. I'll do it. As the Emperor commands, I act. Thanks for hitting Abelard there, buddy. Alright, not bad, not bad. Ah, <laughs> nice. Who oh, if not me? Oh, I could have buffed that up, but that's okay. Instead, no, Inspire isn't going to help us right now, because... Let's...
Accept your lot. Doubt is for the weak. Emperor commands, I act. Eradicated. Nice. Tikaros's hounds are dead. We've proven ourselves. Maybe the cult will even take us under their protection. But there are too many of us, and there can't be too many winners. You will beg and for And now mercy, they're gonna fight us? But I will grant none. I mean... <laughs> you just saw what I was capable of. But, you know, you do you. Just saying, you made a bad call. I will bathe this battlefield in righteous fury! Faith without deed... Okay, took care of everybody who was nice and close to us. It will be done. Let's make some opportunities. I'll see to it personally. I'll do it. Who even told you <laughs> to it. fight like this? <laughs> I knew it was Doubt possible, for the but... Weak. Guided by Did faith. zero damage, though, so... I'm a mentor. Boom. Have you enjoyed it? Are you surprised? The fallen Dracon has defeated the best warriors of the arena. The cult appreciates it. Mirage High has been granted the right to join the Bloodstained Proselytes, our circle of champions. So there's a bunch of different, like, battles that are happening elsewhere on different platforms then. So those were all happening, like, simultaneously. Gotcha. Did any of you expect to see a monkey challenger survive the vicious hunt? Is he eating that person? That thing? Savor the sight of the flesh gorger devouring his mangled enemies? Is your fatal thirst quenched? Oh my god, he is. <laughs> it is quenched. Now we'll keep all gear. Ooh, what are those? Beast's claws? Looks like it's just cargo, but since it has that, maybe we can use it for something. Okay. Is there money to be made? You were unable to discern the bottom of the abyss out of which Kamara's uh, spires rise. A small mercy for your sanity. I always have a backup plan. Can I go down there? No. Okay. 
So I'm assuming we just leave now? Let us not dawdle. What, what is she looking at? You follow Argenta's gaze to the soaring Drakari craft and the squirming bodies nailed to its side. That's... That's Sergeant Vig Vigast Vig Vigastis? Oh, the one who was sent to do the thing. I recognize him. I know his voice. Vernacular, help me. We have to save these people from this torture. One of the Drukari on board sneers upon hearing Argenta's shouts, eliciting a wave of approving cheers. The Drukari kicks one of the groaning bodies, blatantly savoring his untouchability. Yeah, there's like nothing we can do. It's impossible. Abelard shakes his head, looking at the prisoners. Ooh, that's... Man, are we, like, just a couple of points away from being able to do that? Is Votary the next one? Because, like, we're, we're what, like, 30 points away from being able to reach this? That sucks. How do you propose we do that? There has to be a way. We can't. I, I can't simply stand here and watch. Your only chance of helping him is to shoot him and end his suffering. It is now or never, Argenta. That's rough. Argenta does not hesitate for longer than a second before she raises her weapon and fires. The figure flinches and goes limp. She knew it too. We just... We just had to say it. The prisoner appears dead until you notice his eyes, which are filled with pain and following your every move. I'm begging you, finish me. The commissar, traitor. Yeah, for real though. What a jerk. Ooh, that is better. Okay. I think we've got everybody's best. Oh, you know what? You can take heavy armor. That's right. Okay. doing creeping up on me? What are you doing? Oh, it's the stranger again. The stranger standing before you brings to mind a motley colored long-limbed doll abandoned amid carnage and detritus. The bright colors of his sleek costume seem comical against the unremitting gloom and hostility of this place. Only the sorrowful horned mask that hides his face in the dark hooded cloak he wears pay tribute to the overwhelming air of hopelessness. Why is this guy helping us? Every move the Xenos makes sings with theatrical precision and a predator's grace. Because he gave us the gun at the beginning, right? So in some way he's helping us, but it may be to his own ends. You cannot decide if this person is an accomplished dancer or a master assassin. It might just be to cause more pain, seeming as how that's kind of their thing. Okay, we had less than 0% chance. <laughs> You've never heard of such Xenos before. What is he doing in the chasm and why is he standing before you now? This crib of putrid flesh offends your taste. Oblivion comes now, here its nocturne plays. I am that starlit strain that chills the soul, the peace that doom throngs pitches into dance. You are among them, merchant vagabond, so tread the steps I say, escape fate's grasp. Yeah, escape fate's grasp, it's like he's gonna help us get out of here somehow? But why would any Drukari do that? I wonder if he's not Drukari, but he's just acting like a Harlequin or whatever they're called. I mean, he's got a mask, so it could be someone human under there. 
Yeah, what is the dance you were so intent on drawing me into? The steps you know already, Vagabond, a knife-edge minu minuet you must perform between oblivion foes and your own friends, so heed my sonnet well, it holds the key. A melody of snarling agony, beguiling now by rending flesh bewitched, through sinew, bone, and grisly pageantry, it calls the blood-soaked drape to come unstitched, a haggard chorus in the hall behind, their flesh employed to serve the maestro's art. No prayer for mercy slips from throats confined. The baton sets the beat of every heart. And entrails are for him an instrument, and veins a living stave sands parallel. Yet death to him is no impediment, for corpses' tunes do carry just as well. Through spectacles of blood and gore forge past, should car crave your eyes to glimpse sun's light at last. So we have to do more stuff here, by the sounds of it. Forget your riddles for a moment, I'm looking for my companions. Do you know anything about their whereabouts? Whose life so dearly does the merchant prize to boldly now disrupt night's melody? Yearly yet one of your kind lured me here. I wish to find her. To lose the path and then by touch again discover it, such as the outcast's lot. On parlous streets she treads a bloody trail that leads her on through pain and wickedness. Okay, Cassia is missing. The one who mastered flash flesh's mysteries, the soul's enigma is what plagues his mind. All those who glint unnoticed by the rest, he now holds prisoner within his hall. Okay, prisoner somewhere? That business done, we must resume our dance. Okay. Everything is perfectly clear. There is a certain maestro of flesh who conducts experiments on the bodies of others. He has a laboratory that can only be accessed by fighting in the arena to draw his attention. With his assistance, I will be able to escape the chasm. Oh yes, and your name is Nocturne of Oblivion. Have I missed anything? Oh, I'm, I'm glad that this told me all of that, because I did not get it. <laughs> the Xeno stills and looks at you intently. He's not accustomed to anyone so adroitly and quickly navigating his verbal lab labyrinths. That much is clear. At last, you hear a low chuckle behind his mask, and the Xenos clasps his hands slowly, claps his hands slowly, saying only one word: "Bravo." Okay. An indigo ripple passes over the Xenos' body, and he dissipates like a bad dream. Okay, Maestro of Flesh. So that's gonna help us find Cassia. Uh, where is Heinrichs gonna be? We didn't have a lead on Heinrichs. Set Heinrichs free. Help Cassia find your Liette in the streets of the chasm. Okay. So, this is the streets of the chasm. So, she's going to be somewhere here? Okay. Looking around. Looking Keep around. Keep your wits about you. Let's see if we can find her. The winged one. What are those? Notice it's also marked as the stranger. Did you see that? It had the name stranger, just like the Harlequin. I... Huh. Okay, color me intrigued. I am definitely intrigued. This task should have been accomplished easily. Damn it. That's right, Argenta, you're not super good at that. Always keep your eye on the prize. Okay, I need your Liette to do these tech checks, so I really would love to find her. Meet, the master ordered that you be let through. When you approach, a few augmentics spring to life inside the monster's bulk, an injector hisses, filling with blood, filling the blood with substance that causes its veins to bulge, and its muscles to swell and twitch spasmodically. What kind of creature are you? Hello? If you're doing something, I can't see it. The monster snorts and puffs out its massive chest. I am an Akathist, servant of Master Tavantius, his meat driver. What is an Akathist? An augmented warrior is called a Rack because the homunculus invades his nature like a conqueror, wrecks the mundanity, mundanity 
and creates perfection from whatever is left. And Akathis is the superior among the Rax, as well as the strongest and the most frightening. Okay, what if offenses earned you this hideous transformation? Not offenses, labors. I toiled to be granted this honor. I begged for it, and I got it. Okay. Takes a true fool to ask to be transformed into such an abomination. You are weak meat. That means you are you are the fool. The monster wheezes, thick cords standing out in its neck. I've offended him, and I don't even feel bad. I have no more questions. Um, I want to come through. The master gave his permission. He moves over. Um, I'm gonna finish I doing the once around because open. I mean this is yep this is called the chasm. Okay, I'm gonna finish a walk around real quick, looking for your Liette before I go in there because I feel like we're probably gonna have to fight. Rise to the top. Uh, Cassia is probably gonna be in there. Oh, there she is. The Eldari runs a hand over her face before turning to you. Her pale skin is tightly stretched over the bones of her skull. Her eyes have lost their glimmer, and her neck is buckled under an unseen burden. And yet you still recognize her. You're Liet Lenev... Len... Lenev... Lenevis. <laughs> your former companion, and the reason for your imprisonment inside these dark walls. Is it crazy that I forgive her? Man, it's, it hurts though, it really does. Like, that betrayal hurts. Yerliette glances at you, her eyes widening slightly, but that is the only change you detect in her tense pre expression. Whatever emotions she may be feeling, she is suppressing them well. Ellen talk. Yerliette, you are alive. Yerliette looks at you in disbelief. Your voice, do I hear a likeness of jubilation? How can that be, Ellen Talk? Because of me, you... One of the Xenos, who are watching Yerliet torture the silent victim, steps forward. Did the monkey come for a taste of pain? Then you must have patience. Our little guest still has so much suffering to extract from the first victim. Your prey is far from empty, Yerliet. Do not hold back. What are they making her do? Can regular Eldari be turned to Drukari? I don't know enough about these races to know. Like, I wonder if they're trying to, like, turn her or something. I don't know. Yerliat grips the blade in her hand and immediately winces. Her spirit stone is bleeding a red glow. She touches it with an expression of anguish. The suffering overwhelms me. No more. I cannot bear it any longer. You will gain a serrated knife. Why are you doing this to her? Our little guest is learning the art she and her kin lost eons ago. The Drakari gloats in a cloying tone of voice. The art of delight that is free from meaningless taboos. The art of extracting rapture from another's flesh against the will of its owner. The art of walking the path of the Drukari. Isn't that right, my lost Suryani? The path of the Drukari. Yulia echoes the Zeno's words, and the sound of her voice is as feeble and hollow as an echo. Once your Liet opens her soul to our way, she will have a home once more. I think they can be turned. Among our kind, if she refuses, well, then she will have to give up that bauble she wears as a flimsy shield against she who thirsts. But there is no cause for alarm once we are done here. Our little sister will need her spirit stone no longer. Your Liet, I intend to find a way out of this place. What about you? She's incredulous. Are you inviting me to come with you? Inviting me to the stars, Ellen Tuck? The Drakari grabs Yerliette by the shoulder. You are losing focus, sister. Your spirit stone is at a sten- Yerliette is swift and precise. The blade pierces the Drakari's throat, and he collapses, clutching the wound and drenching the floor with blood. His kin move to draw their weapons and freeze, transfixed by the sight of their brother thrashing in agony. Enough. It is hard to tell whether Yerliette is shouting or wailing. Enough of this senseless, aimless torture. This is not my path, and it will never be mine. She turns to you with a faint glimmer of hope on her gaunt face. But first I must ask Ellen Tuck. After what I did, drive away the night of my blindness with the morning rays of clarity. Have you truly found the strength to forgive me?
We will yet have a word about your deeds. Now, however, is time to leave. She nods warily. You are right. Explanations and understanding are now ours to pursue. And yet your willingness to accept me back astounds me, Elitok, and it frightens me in equal part. Asurian, heed my word. I will not fail your faith again. The spirit stone in her breast flashes and slowly dims. And now let us walk away from the nightmares that reach their stings into the darkest recesses of my hurting soul. Oh, I'm surprised we didn't have to fight. Alright, girl. You definitely messed up, but... Here we are. Raid grants an ally an additional plus percent damage against prey. Whenever the bounty hunter kills prey whose difficulty tiers are higher, plus two AP. Melee range, you get a move. Plus six percent armor penetration. Kills an enemy with a critical hit. All allies in a seven cell radius around the target gain target difficulty tier percent crit chance. That might be good. Yeah, quite a few there. Pretty decent, it feels like. Let's do critical chain. Okay. Looks like this one's for you. Looks like it has decent damage, too. Put that in your secondary. Is that like a thing? No. Okay. Now we have tech and better Xenos checks. Um, no armor for you, is there? Yeah, because you can't even wear Drukari armor. Alright, well, nothing we can do about that. Okay, should we try our tech checks now? I always have a backup plan. Still only tw oh, she's not with us. <laughs> 63, that's a little better. Okay, well done, girl. Here's the thing, we have no way to rest, so I'm a little bit hesitant to, like, take on a bunch of, like, injuries and stuff. Did you hope to see an so, like, what does this fail? do? Each stack is a minus 10 penalty to any ballistic skill, weapon skill, intelligence, or perception tests. Only tests, though. The effect will be removed at the end of combat. If gained outside of combat, visit the void ship to remove. So does that mean, will it go away after the next combat? I have learned much in my exile. Hmm. Not 100% sure on that one. Alright, now here's the other thing. Perception. Is perception... Um, hold on. Tech use is int. Okay. I was wondering if getting these was going to make it harder and harder for us to get subsequent checks, but... My success was inevitable. No, doodle. Now, what are you? A Xenospasm Grenade. An Eldari Ranger Sight, the Wear's Dead Eye Shot, Critical Hits, Trigger, Expose Weakness, Against the Affected Enemy. Okay, so that's probably for you, Yurliet. That's weird. It's an interesting one. Expose Weakness against the Affected Enemy until the end of combat. But only with Dead Eye Criticals. Wear's Melee Attack Damage is increased by Psy Rating. That's for Heinrichs. Nobody's going to be able to use that. Hmm. 
Mm, you know, it probably should be put on somebody who's a frontliner. Let's put it on you. You're always going to be close enough to use it on somebody if you need to. Is there money to be made? Too hard for a simple monkey. Okay, pretty good roll so far. Okay, some more grenades. At the start of every combat, the wearer's allies gain deflection equal to the wearer's psi rating. Okay, so that one also is Heinrichs only. We've got a bunch of stuff for Heinrichs right now. Whenever the wearer performs an area attack, they instantly provoke attacks of opportunity from all adjacent enemies. Why would that be good? The wearer gains plus toughness bonus temporary wounds for each attack of opportunity provoked by an area attack. So if you put that on a dodge tank, somebody who's likely to, like, dodge it, then you're going to get more health than you lose. Yes? As long as you have high enough toughness and you're more likely to not get hit or reduce the damage? That one's an interesting one. That one's... We are the spearhead of yeah, the Yeah, that one's Imperium. interesting. Um, where's that minus 20? Stolen time? Okay. Makes sense, I guess. If such is the Emperor's will. I have learned much All right, in my we've exile. been really lucky with those. We only got one perplexed. I was fully expecting to get some more. Were there other tech checks down here, or were they mostly all up there? I think they were mostly all up there. Pretty sure. Um, now that we have her, we can do that Xenos check, so we probably want to do that. We have one more explosive. Keep your wits about you. An expected result. Oh, I will deliver good. furious retribution. It's back. I wonder if killing it will get us his buff off, the his debuff off of him though. That would be great. Oh, this is one of those things that uh, that one guy killed, the gorger or whatever he was called. Okay, he's got a lot of health. Time to get your revenge, Abelard. This thing seems tough. Um, do you have line of sight? No? Does that not count as line of sight? No, you do. Okay. Um, how's your armor, bro? Let's shred it. If I must. So 50 armor. Down to 20. Okay. Marcus I am Prey. not your Xenos pet, monkey. I understand your intent. Oh. 
I am not your Xenos pet monkey. Four. And then what does this do again? All allies, seven percent hit chance. Um, it might go up higher because I bet you that he has a pretty high difficulty tier. Does it tell me? Um, what tier are you? How do I know? Let's see. I'm not seeing a difficulty tier on this list, but oh, it's in the thing. So yeah, it's a five. So we'll get a 15% bonus to hit chance. Cool. I will not. Oh, too far away. Rude. I'll do it. As the Emperor commands, I act with you, my Emperor. Okay, not a bad start. Devitalization. Oh my god. Oh my god. Don't and you, you get to attack twice. Now. Oh no, my best damage dealer just went down. Oh no, that's bad. <laughs> that's really bad. Okay. I need you to tank right now. Make it happen. He's as good as done. You cannot force me, Elantak. You get like reactions. To prove my metal. Their fragility has been Or was that really exposed. your turn? Okay, he just gets to destroy whoever's in front of him. Okay, we just got to out damage him or stay further away from him. Staying further away may have actually um, won us this fight because, like, well, we're only a third of the way through his health bar, but staying away would have helped us for sure. Um, but this is this is pretty bad. I'm not gonna lie. On it. Um, let's see. I'm gonna move back. Taking calculated risk is my second nature. Okay, not bad. 62 is pretty good. Okay, how's your armor right now? 38. You can do this once per turn, right? So let's strip that. Zero armor. That's what we like to see. Okay. Move you back. Okay, 95. I don't really have much to give more damage. If it serves your call. Bro's got movement. Okay.
Already got that. Inspire you. I'll make it happen. I am not your ancestors, guide me! See, they've got like reactions. That's really bad for us. <sighs> My path does not okay. end here. Um, I might need to read through those abilities. Can you do that on yourself? Of course you can't. What does this do? All allies, including the master tactician, have line of sight of the enemy. Make an immediate sing- I mean, like. Here's my perfect moment. It is my last volley, because I'm about to die. <laughs> I am super dead. <laughs> Say goodbye. Just need to tough it out. Yeah, those two attacks, he didn't miss a single one. Um, did we have an ability that let us survive with one HP? Um, we're also about to be stuck in a corner. Does he get attacks of opportunity? He sure does. And he does not miss. Okay. I think if we play our cards right, we can definitely win that. We were definitely way too close to him to start with. We need to be able to keep our distance, and um, we just have to know that he's going to get whatever those reaction movement and attacks are. Um... Now, we could probably also come back here after we get more of our party members. In here, I'm assuming. I'm assuming we'll get at least Cassia here. And, you know, that would make it even more likely that we'll win. You know what, let's do that. Let's go to the opera. Because we're probably going to get at least Cassia. And every single new party member makes it even more likely that we'll win that fight. Like, we just... It'll become exponentially easier. And let's be real, Cassie's ability to move the target further away from us could be exactly what we need. <laughs> so that's the plan. But anyway, uh, we are at time. So thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. In the next one, we will head to the opera. So uh, we're going to be heading right up here. Thank you, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye, everybody. I'd like to give a very special shout out to my patron supporters, Darren York, ZTD, Knife Namase, Kyle the Monarch, Chris Murphy, JW, Quinless, Vlada 101, Andy Ford, Bruce Wizzle, Black Mamba 90, Eureka Gecko, A Happy Fat Panda, Turkeyfoot 27, Pedo Kuto, Shadow Raven, Hannah Kate the Great, The Blue Electric Cat, Emily Kuzanoa, Philip Doughty, and Nadia N. If you would also like to join this tier or any others, check out my memberships or my Patreon in the description down below.